Hello there! We are back with a bit of Honkai Impact Third. It's actually been quite a while. Because... After... Like the part 2 story update, there hasn't really been much happening. Besides like one fun event, but... If it's more of just like a fun event, I'm not really like interested in streaming it much because I'm skipping for most of the dialogue anyway. So it would be most much interesting to see, and I would also most irregularly playing the event, so yeah. But I actually haven't checked it out yet. But this um, event actually looks like it will be relevant for like the uh, upcoming st next story part. So I've actually been saving it for a stream, which is actually what we're gonna be jumping into now. I actually have no idea what this is about. Ah, all the events in the sandbox are listed on this page. Okay. I refuse to the right. Come join, let's go. Yep, let's target it. It's also been there for like a few days already, but I just didn't like get around to... I didn't really feel play, like playing Mangas and being the third much lately. I just didn't get around to it too much as well. Just because of other stuff. Other priorities. Oh yeah. Just as they had taken care of the unique and the back to square. Yeah, okay. <laughs> For the next... Oh, it's actually voiced. Okay. For the relics that, uh, that remain here, whether they were merely a container or a piece of history themselves, they must be accustomed to people coming and going. I didn't expect it to be voiced, actually. やっぱり必要ないと思うんだよね。備えあれば憂いなしっていうのはわかるんだけど、うちがあんな役をしてるんだし。<laughs> After getting a divine standing of Shu from Litos, the outsiders who had stumbled into uh, Langri quickly reached a consensus. Considering their unbridled power, she believed it was necessary to better be better prepared before engaging with a living Shu. And they only knew one way to do it. <laughs>私たちがこれから会う術はどんな予測不可能な能力を持ってるの。例えば猫を飼ってていざという時に変身できるとか。<笑> Also, why is she so hesitant to actually tell us anything about her? Yeah. Yeah, okay, always whenever it comes to her, she's like always been secretive. でも、私たちに見せたくないんじゃない。でも、私たちはすでに再現された一部のデータで、小弱の姿を見てるよね。はいはい。うん。昔のことは語るまでもないよ。<笑> ところで師匠が残したこれ。いつ頃の話が見られるのかはうちらが決められるものじゃないんだろう。中に入ってもいいけど、先に約束してもらいたいんだ。本当に見ちゃダメなものが出てきたら、うちの合図で目を閉じて
She really just does not like want anything about herself to be seen, I guess. Also, thank you for the follow, uh, my dears. Also, <sighs> you're still not probably working as you used to, as you should. But hey, at least half of the alert is popping up on screen now. <laughs> <laughs> And also welcome in chat. さあさあ、新設姉さんが私たちの代わりにドニグルを見てくれてるうちに早速中に入ろうよ。新設姉さんは何て言ってたかな確か恋愛は潜り込みってえっと他人にそれとも自分に it's already been uh, quite a bit since the last bit, uh, um, the last story part. Did Dionic actually ever say something like that? No, uh, Shenyu. それなら断る。え?わかったわかった。結局逃げられなかったな。できれば、うちがいい暮らしをしてる頃がいいんだけど。<laughs> <laughs> I feel like she just immediately jinxed herself here. Kyokuto, Jigan no Hakoe, Yokoso. Korekara, Karada to Sensio, Lirax, Sasete Kudasai. Kyokara Modoru Baiwa, Kokoro no Nakade, Shurio, Tomo Koshte Kudasai. Okay. Well, I don't mind if you also like. If you have anything asking specific and you do not know the English words for it, you also. I also do not mind you chatting in German because I actually am German. So I can understand and read it. Demo. <laughs> これは違う気がするような。データ研究所で長い間使われてるように見えるし。Hey Yugi Mora, of course you are always there for the tail. It feels like you're after my tail more than myself. そういう空間的な特殊性があるなら簡単に触れちゃいけない危険物なんじゃない? <laughs> Maybe because you are a Kremlin, ever thought about it? そうとは限らないよ。あの時こんなものがあったら。ねえ、小尺、何度も聞いたけど。小尺の師匠も実の一人なんだよね。すごいことをたくさんしたみたいだし。うん、それはどうだろう。<笑><笑> A cave gremlin in some dark corner of your room. Being thirsty for some fluffy tail. Bye there, my ass. Have a good sleep. だってもしかしたら師匠はその一族にとっては裏切り者なのかもしれないし一方でうちの知り合いのお姉さんにとっては大災害かもしれない。でもみんなの考えで言うならかなり単純だよ。師匠はごく普通の仙人なんだ。I've <laughs> still got a, a, a bouncer called a uh, chatbot which you really like to trigger so you should be careful. そんなの全然普通じゃないでしょ。とにかくここは私たちが行ったところとは違う。きっと過去の琥珀街なんだよね。うん。でも目的がないまま中に入ったから一体どの時代にいるのかをはっきりさせるだけでも結構時間がかかるんじゃないかな。ふふん。うちが
私たち一緒に中に入ったもんねいつの年代だとしても常に小弱がいるんじゃないかなうちがいなくても同じだよ別に自慢するつもりはないけどたとえ琥珀が生まれじゃなくてもうちよりここにいる時間が長い人はいないんだ何年の何月かもちょっと見ればすぐにわかるよ Brushing the lava, diving into the tail. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll just watch you away with my tail then. Hmm. I know that you're a young person, so I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to そんなに遅い時間に見えないのに琥珀街にも人が少ない時があるの前に行った琥珀街のことを誤解してるみたいだね<笑><笑>みんなついてきて I mean, I already got better. I do have a katana. <笑>遅いんじゃなくて早いんじゃないかなほらちょうど開ける準備をしてる店が<笑>まさか閉店する羽目になるとは It can bonk as long as it's sheathed Well, if you do it with the back side of the katana 仕方ありませんできるだけのことはしましたいやえっと、行きましょう、店長。不穏な世の中ですし、無事でいるだけで十分です。商売もなかなか大変みたいだ。でも、不穏な世の中ってどういうこと多分、影の災いのことじゃないかな。おかしい。そんなはずないのに。確かに琥珀街にも不景気な時期があったけどそれはまだうちが住んでなかった頃だよ。You accidentally became a filly. Filly. Hey, Chad, I got something to eat for you. Here you go. <laughs> I'm a feed you to my Chad. さすがにそんな偶然があるわけ。少女くああまずはあの辺に行ってみようか見覚えのある店を探さないとね Only after I probably cooked you up and seasoned you of course because I know you will you will taste bad otherwise の老舗だよ。夢追い人も聞いたことがあるんじゃないかな。戻ったらみんなに一杯おごってあげるよ。大家じゃ飲めないなんて少し残念だね。今の状況はもう手一杯だけど。あ、おじいさん久しぶりだね。今日も変わりはないかい。な、なぜ外で聞いた噂と違うんじゃ。はあ。おじいさんは出かけて帰ってきたばかりなのかいまた何か噂を聞いたのか In this case, we may wanna... He want to hear the gossip as well. ああ、影がまた人を食べたとか、影が変な夢を見せて姿を消したとか、うん、新聞に載っておるんじゃ、噂とは言えんじゃろ。でも、それも仕方のないことだよ。毎年歴史する人がいるけどそのせいで生きることを諦めるわけにもいかないだろう。Well, yeah, but it's a different thing if it's done by shadows, which is a bit unprecedented. I'm guessing for the time period at least, where we're like actually watching at a moment. So are you, 
あんかはこんなに広いのに影はなぜよりによってこの町を狙うんじゃよりによってこの町かなんだかあの頃のことに聞こえるけどいや待って夢追い人どうやったらここから出られるのここここは絶対行っちゃダメなんだ Did you figure out how much time period we are? Shouzaku? Kore wa. Anata no karada. Kore wa. Uchi wa mo dame ka mo. Ano koro no kohaku gai da to shitara. Kanojo ga inai hazu ga nai. Of everything happened in the not too distant past. Uh, okay. The strange power imbued with the power to traverse time and space was about to make its mark upon this particular place a hundred years ago, along with its owner's needle sharp mind. Unlike some animals that possess natural instincts to predict disasters, these beings, commonly referred to as humans, did not possess similar talents. <laughs> Calling us out, alright. The impending great panic, the, arri the arrival of a man who would wipe out everything, all of these were unpredictable to them. At this moment, the only thing that occupied their mind was the meeting among the nobles and how to serve their master in the proper way. And furthermore, how to accommodate her little crooks. Madame Setsune got a little bit of a look at her. Skiso, you are a nigh. De no cosho de Masaka, not a touch of a yakuni tatero de momoter. Desga Sesama. Whatever you are, Choro Samatino, made any stangai, Anata, Mukaini Kitano. I would really like her design. Koko ni nagai aida taizai sareru goyote desu kara, se sama no o sewa o suru mono ga. Shhh. Se sama te nani? Watakushi no namae ga se da to de mo omotte ru? Kogirei na kakko o shite ru kedo, kanojo to wa kurabe mono ni nara nai no? Namae wa? Aratani Stuji to Stil Sky Sassete Itadak, James to Mosmas. James is such a bad one name, not gonna lie. Ja, what taxiva? What taxino namayo moichi do yon de creator? Sir, sir, mo toshu sama. その度胸がどこから来るのかわからないけどちゃんと知ってるんじゃない誰があなたにその服を着せたのかをさてポッチもう行っていいわ今はあなたよりもルールをよく知ってる人がいるもの。If t h a v e n t seen such extraordinary feat with his own eyes, he didn't show any surprise. What did you even do? Talema Nutrisco. With such a distinguished surname, she would have no difficulty in acquiring a certain organization's features result on the ten phases of misery. Though this is merely his misconception regarding the ability at hand. Is Bodgy the Japanese like sound for <laughs> Okay. Anato. Anato Fukumete. ヌートリスク一族の使用人は全員クビよルールを知らない下僕なんか私にはいらないわあるいは There was no need for her to go on for her unique sound she had used to refer to them had already set an up That is the picker sound, okay 消えなさい 
この場所に興味が湧いたばかりなの私の楽しみをどうしても邪魔したいというのなら<笑>分かってるはずよねこの世には消えるよりも辛いことがあるってはいかしこまりましたではセルマ様どうかご無事で。She does give a bit of psychopath vibes, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Honto ni kyo same ne. A sai ga mo yo fru eria. Wal dakumi o suru kebok. Shi so shita kizok. Ichi zok no na o liyo shite. Watakshi o ii basho ni obiki o seta wa ne. Iwo? 何を企んでるか見てみようじゃない I like how flowy her cape is and her hair and the design is really cool そこのあなたお待ちをあら何か Even though the girl in front of her had always scoffed at aristocratic dress code and was accustomed to sewing every piece of clothing herself, for some reason, anyone could immediately sense her ineffable nobility. So, don't worry. I'm the first time I've come here. So, I'm the first time I've come here. I'm the first time I've come here. I'm the first time I've come here. That's right. My mother... ええ。白という名字の男性を探してるの。彼は目立つはずなのに、どうしてかここに来てから行方不明になってしまって。だから私も身の安全が心配なのよ。英才のこともそうだけど、この町に何か変なものが現れたりしてない。え？英才だけで
Although the girl wasn't very quick at tearing hearts apart, the sweet world ordinary man didn't need to see it all to be reduced to the state. Eh? この辺りでは何も起こっていません。あったとしても些細なことばかりです。例えば私の後ろにある受け薬法はもともとは老舗の薬屋で評判も良かったのですが、少し前に町中で原因不明の疫病が流行りだし、たくさんの人々が薬を
初めからトース様を狙った罠なのかもしれません知ったかぶりのくせに大口を叩くのね私から見たらあなたたちは少なくとも二つ間違えてる一つ目老いぼれたちは普段余計な世話ばかり焼くけどヌートリスク一族で主となって家を切り盛りできるのはこの名字を持つ者だけよ琥珀街に来たのはただこの場所に興味があったからあオッケー興味ですがここはえお父様は白家を潰した後すぐにこの世を去ったそのせいで私は彼らにとって一番の復讐相手になったわ行方不明になった白家の子息がこの時期に何もしないわけがないさらに異常現象と怪物の噂を加えると<笑>ここはより刺激的に見えるそう思わない最近の娯楽にそろそろ飽きてきたと感じてたら新しい茶番を用意してくれる人がいるなんてねならそれとも For no reason, he failed a tinge of fear built on apprehension. If the girl did have the confidence to walk away from such danger, that would make her a far more terrifying existence than the former. お遅いわ。もちろん。私の前で後悔してもかまわない。でも。それは押し置きを受けた後のことよ。あなたたちに説明しようとするなんて。結局のところ。あなたたちは私の下僕でしかないのに。その事実を。もう一度焼き付ける必要があるみたい。In a few moments, the spatula previous misunderstanding will be cleared up. The chains you saw perhaps were on the tools developed by an organization. Unfortunately, it was too late. A hundred years ago, the tighter shoe of pleasure had not rung out across Antares with the mad feet that everyone has come to know today. But without the. <laughs> But the power that belonged to her was spouting in secret and under some clever disguise. Was exercising its right to tremble. Ah, so that's it. Stagging どうしさまそれは一体緊張しないで彼女たちはただ下僕としてあるべき姿に戻っただけそしてすぐにあなたも彼女たちと同じように私にどうひざまずくべきかを覚えるわ OK 
Not sure what's even happening right now. But some matter, the expression has suddenly darkened. This isn't good. Could it be a prelude to the shadow calamity? Overwhelmed by fear, consumed by shadows, ending up dead in the streets? I've seen too many other examples before you. Pochi, come on, let me hear it. The tricked forts have you been hiding? <laughs> I'm just keep using Pochi without using his skin. <laughs> Someone else sent you. The others in the family are your true masters, yes? So you're not actually afraid of me, but of those old geezers who sent you to monitor me. I'm not that naive. First they snatch a large share of the industry market. Then they sent me, the only person qualified to negotiate with the Bai family. And finally they arranged for someone to keep an eye on me. In the best case, if I make even the slightest mistake, you report impeaching me will be sitting at the desks. But in the worst case, if I were to unfortunately perish in the shadow calamity, that would suit them even better. That's the truth of it, isn't it, Hold it off. Sign already? Why are you afraid of giving yourself away? So you're willing to risk my anger for the sake of the elder's mission? Very well, this makes things more interesting. Let me gaps. Perhaps the reason is... Depth has robbed you of your freedom, hasn't it? You refuse to accept life as someone's underling, terrified at the thought of losing your freedom forever. But do we have a choice? Come on, someone else is lucky, serving as a pawn in their scheme. Did you think you could erase your past failures with that? You couldn't even stalk me properly. What do you think will happen to you when you go back? I didn't expect... How has it come to this? Indeed, that's why I said there is no person you should submit to in this world, but only the person you must submit to. Now then. Yeah. Uh. What is this about? Uh, besides begging for mercy, you have no other way out. Forgiveness is expensive. Freedom is a precious air on the main mountaintop, not meant for the way. For the weak. Empty your mind, stop thinking, and let me dominate you. That's your only value. Uh, as I've been to you, Lady Salema. Everything seemed to have happened in the blink of an eye. Look at the Okuane. Anata no chuse to Kyofuo. At this moment, the ritual known as fear gathering had not yet come necess necessity of life in Ling Yu. And even the title Shu didn't bear the significance that would be later granted by the man whose surname was Bay. But indeed, there was more than one person who had already discovered the subtle connection between fears and shadows at this moment, and had used their own means to exploit it. The best way to control 10 people with 10 bullets is to control 9 people with 9 bullets. And as someone of higher statu uh, status who knew well how to ma manipulate fear, she could naturally subdue fear more easily. Within romance, the girl had captured this fear, wielding Wielding them as an abnormal shadow to exert total control over him. Yet at least outwardly, though more effort was put in, the gains did not equal those of the past. Although the butler involuntarily assumed a respectful posture, he appeared to not have completely lost himself. There was still a gleam in his eye. A with a gleam in his eyes screamed of fear and anger. <laughs> あなたが頭を下げて命令を聞くときは身の程を
Although the butler's rank was defined by the girl with a rather strange term, he no longer could show hesitation. <笑>まだその時じゃないわそれにあなたの本体だけじゃ私の力になれるような場面なんてあらへえ一匹だけじゃなかったみたいね <笑> Okay. I'm not even sure what just happened there. And why did we cut a piece of clothing? <laughs> in a trial, like in a negotiation where like we had total control over. Hmm? Gakuren Domination Shadow Servant. When a character approaches an object that can be moved by the Shadow Servant skill, a left will mark will appear. Use the skill to summon a Shadow Servant to move the object. から自分のことを随分上位に置いてるのねだってだってほらうちは震えるくらい怯えてるんだよそうだろ全然勝てないしだだから話し合ってみるしかないんだ <笑> <laughs> Exuding elegance, the girl slowly reached forward. And for the stalker witness everything, its meaning was obvious. <laughs> いうことを聞いてほしいなら一言で聞くからうちは自己管理が得意だよいいでしょうだったらその目障りの麻袋を脱ぎなさいそんな下品なセンス見てられないわ We're in an empty alley and demanding that is still too much for the trigger who just realized that Gunny Bag referred to what she wore by touching from the magic this noble lady had performed, the demand spoke for Fred even more terrifying than that. わかった。どうせ、どうせ。どうせ今はそんなに寒くないし。お金も大して持ってないし。服は畳んでおいた方がいい。あんたへ面白いわねはいはいもう立ち上がっていいわ名前教えてはあ脱がなくていいの何がっかりしてるみたいね早く質問に答えなさいうちは小弱職業はあちこちで生活費を稼いでる つまりそのちょっとした商売をしてるんだスリかそれとも詐欺かしらとんでもない確かにうちの格好は綺麗じゃないけど後ろめたいことは一度もしてないよそうむしろ俊敏な方だと思ってるのだけどとてあしの速さ
こそこそと私をつけてきたのだってあんたいやあなた様の宝石があまりにも高価。Which I'm s e n specific? あいやいや、みんなと違う雰囲気を持ってるから、もしかしたら大儲けする機会があるかもって思ったんだよ。後ろめたいことはしてない<咳>小白街に来た理由はそれだよ。近頃、この辺では噂が絶えないだろう。英才が頻発してるとか、貴族が災難にあったとか、虎血にいらずんば孤児を得ずっていう言葉があるように、もしかしたらそこに大儲けする機会があるんじゃないかなって思って。災難にあった貴族あなた。あいやいや、実は違うんだ。少しでも聞いてもらえるように、ちょっと話を持っただけ。<笑>とにかく危険な場所にこそ機会があるってことうちは事前にここの噂や路地を全部覚えたんだあなた様から逃げるためにはしっかり準備しなきゃ結局逃げきれなかったけど Yeah you missed your chance to run away ほ本当にわざと使用に動きを教育するところを盗み見たわけじゃないこの路地を出たらすぐに記憶を消すからだからお願いうちを殺さないであんな風にしないでその辺にして殺すなんてそんなおかしな趣味を持つ変態に見えるわけそれはまさかあなた様は気高くて権力があってあら別に訂正しようとしてるわけじゃないわあなたの推測も間違ってないただ殺すなんてそこまでセンスは悪くないわよ私はねそんなあっさりとしたことはしたくないの<笑>せっかく楽しむのにそんなの単純すぎるでしょ<笑>これからあなたも分かってくるはずよ無駄話はやめましょう確かに案内する下僕が必要だわここの路地を全部覚えてるって言ったわよそれを証明する時が来たわよそそれは何下僕が嫌なのそうねもしかしてベッドの方になりたいうちを許してくれるならもちろん何だってするよ。You Yu-Gi-Oh! me m t u r e for me. I can imagine so many players being that s a y that right now thinking that. でも、下僕って結局うちはあんな風にするんじゃないのほら、シュシュッとした黒い塊が出てきて。もみくちゃにして一人また一人と魂を奪っていくそんな感じのどうせあなたには理解できないし詳しく知る必要もないわとにかく彼らは死んでないし魂を失ったわけでもないまだあなたには必要ないわあなたが琥珀街のことを何も知らないって分かった時にちゃんと味わわせてあげても別それとも縛られた方がやる気が出るタイプなら別に今からでも大丈夫それは結構だからちゃんとあなた様の言うことを聞くからいいかねそのあなた様っていうのもやめてとりあえずセルマ様って呼びなさいせっかくのチャンスなんだから無駄にしないようにもちろんセルマ様はどこに行くまずは食事に連れて行こうかブリングアップトゥストリートフューシーエプリューズイインシューフラウンドアンコンシャスリーあーあーほら講談師の話にもよく出てくるだろう高貴な人は
庶民的な食べ物に魅了されるって結構よ私は白球という人間を探してるの彼は琥珀街の噂と関係があるのかもしれないしないのかもしれないけどここの光景は私が聞いていた噂と全く違うわねでも彼がそんなことをやってみせたとは思えないとにかくこの辺の怪しい場所について噂を聞いたことはあるかしら<笑>それなら楽勝だよセルマ様世間を渡り歩くには情報の速さが肝心だついてきてこんな世の中じゃいいことはなかなか起こらないけど厄介事を探してるならむしろ簡単だよ Um, okay. I'm still a bit confused about what's going on. <laughs> Kondo, I don't know, Bashanano. So, Leo, Leno, Biak, cute, the Tony, Tsuita, or Kita, Koto, or Nike, or. 変な出来事と「白」という名字の人間といったらここしか思いつかないんだ変な出来事その通りでも怪物とかじゃなくて変な病気なんだ見てて As I spoke, she knocked on the door. どうしたのかねお嬢さん邪魔してごめんねここはチンおばあちゃんの家かな私に用があるのかい孫娘の舞踊の授業は今日じゃないじゃろう。Hey, animation cycle is not smooth. It's like skipping some frames. <laughs> よ。私たら本当にものはすれが激しいね。白鵬坊ちゃまの使いの人じゃろ。さ、お入り。そうね。そうそう。場所を間違えてないみたいでよかったよ。こちらこそじゃ。あなたたちが来てくれたおかげで
早く来てくれないかって毎日待っておったよ。手付金も用意してあるから今回はいくらでもふすいを買おう。常備薬として置いとかなくちゃね。それは。おやどうして急に難しい顔をするんじゃ。私の病気は。直せるんじゃろう<笑>おばあちゃんこの病気では不水を使わなくてもいいかもえつまりおばあちゃんの病気はもうすぐ治るってことなんとおばあちゃん誤解してるよこれは英才なんかじゃないこの病気は珍しいけど治療が難しいわけじゃないんだ処方箋を残しておくからきっと数日で治ると思うよえっ、ショーアクロンでメディセンオーバーエドウェンオンエンオン。After lengthy persuasion, the two finally bid goodbye to the old lady with at least some information acquired. For the people of her family background, impersonating someone else to get information was truly a rare experience. Tashkani, I never was so sweet and I. Hontoni, so sicky. Nana, eh? Second, what are the other good tamini? Chotto has to go on it. She ran up the most terrible hill, sir, no more die, she dacara, eh? Tashkani, you could dict it a kettle. ひもでつないでいないペットの方が働けるみたいねあ別に褒めてないわよはいはいセルマ様の仰せのままにんでもセルマ様さっきのことなんだけどどうして直接なんて言えばいいのかなあのおばあちゃんを従者にするとか本気で質問がしたいならあなたね何を言ってるのかちゃんと分かってる<笑>それがいい方法だとでもそれとも私がそれをいい方法として認めるどどっちにしたら生き残れるの<laughs> True, there's to walk on eggshells here. Ma, Eva, Janto Hataraita Cotoni Mendita Yurusta Ager Yoko Kikina Sai Anataga Imama de Mita Monova, but Axino Shumi Janakte, Shudan Nano Hitoto Yoberuni Atai Sermono Nara, Hitoto Stazka. ハを見せて恐ろしい形相をする者にだけ首輪をつけるの。確かに私は善人じゃないって言ったけど、高貴な悪人こそ好き嫌いをする者よ。も,もちろんつまり、うちのことが気に入らなかったってことうちの歯が丈夫じゃないからああうちが弱すぎるから<笑>前者にしましょうでも結構気に入ってるわよとにかく例の白家の人間が確かにここに来たなら彼も同じことをするはずそもそも会ったことすらないけどこんな老婦人を騙すような人間とは思えないわつまりその白家のご子息は偽物だってこと偽物かどうかはすぐにわかるわ忘れないで例の白家の子息とやれば今日訪れるって約束してるんでしょんだから、それは、ピーパピングアップするのかな本当にかかったわねあなたの歯を見てあげましょうかこっちお
お前動くな Why am I find myself without any toys and I'm quite distressed at this moment? We're coming a good time, hmm? Name. Aurora. Status. It's decided on all you want, but judging by your skills, you're one of the lanterns, aren't you? Why? I'm acquainted with some of them, yes. Also, I'm the one asking the questions here. Hmm. So it was you who was spying on us just now, and when we discovered you, you led us into the alive one ambush. That means that you're the one spreading rumors about the shadows everywhere. Were you the one impersonating Mr. Bay? Or was it or was it the one who hired you? Not very proactive, are you? But I quite like people who aren't proactive. Because no matter what I do to them, they can't complain. You're a stray dog who's left the organization. Uh, it seems I've stuck enough. No wonder you're not even wearing a uniform. Quite tragic, isn't it? A former warrior fighting against the shadows now, making a living by disguising as one. The person who hired you has some sense of humor. I have to give them that. How did it end up like this? Let me guess. What you're afraid of is a truly formidable enemy. I. Uh, uh, powerful monsters born from the shadows. I don't intend to imagine such filth, but I can guess to some extent your body may not have suffered permanent damage. But your spirit has been completely crushed, hasn't it? That's why you just came from the front lines of battle against the shadows, even though you know the fighting is your only forte. That's why you willingly became a hired fuck in the back alleys, because you know there are no formidable enemies here. However, your comfort zone has now been shattered by me. I, you... I'm the formidable enemy you cannot defeat. You see, I don't look terrifying and I can appear on an ordinary shopping street and still leave you unable to stand. This is the monster that you fear day and night. You cannot guess you cannot escape it, because there are powerful people everywhere who are stronger than you. This is your destiny, do you understand? Submit to me. I still don't understand what this cutting is about. I submit to you, Lady Talema. Aurora taking in as a servant recounted her employment as to you for your usual, usual lifeless look. So that you're相手は姿を現したことがないのです。私はたまに目を受け、彼の代わりに影の噂を流したり、影の存在を疑う人間を処分したりしてただけです。たまに警告として相手の商売の邪魔をすることもありました。どうしていつも琥珀街なのか。
最後まで見てあげないとねこの程度じゃなければいいんだけどうーんポッチ行きなさい。あなたを従者にしたことを後悔させないように。An object that can be shot by the shadow will get a crosshair mark or a PA success of an ancient rich price. Okay. Will it just do it? Or do I have to actually aim it? No, it will just do it. せてて気づいたら追いかける相手を間違えてまったくあの人ってば何かやましいことでもあるように同じ方向に向かって走り続けるんだからええ確かにやましいことがあったわねあ待ってセルマ様その人はええポチほら挨拶をアウロラです先ほどセルマ様の従者となりましたあつまり琥珀街で起きてたおかしな現象は全部嘘だったってことそれは本当に儲かると思ってたのに結局先手を打たれたんだねでも待ってセルマ様何かが違うよ確かに今までの件はおかしかったけど何かコツがなければ誰も英才で金儲けをするなんて思いつかないよやっぱり終わってなかったのねセルマ様聞いてるわ前に何度も聞いたんだ琥珀街の近くにある人気のない教会で影から出てきた怪物を見かけたって。最初は謎に包まれた話だったけど噂が噂を呼んでその怪物が確か魚みたいなのに空を飛べるとか普通の英才じゃないみたいねでも構わないわ案内しなさいスズメちゃん人気がない<笑>そこに厄介事があってもなくてもまたくもう出発するセルマ様うーんあーけ I'm still I'm just confused by what they are saying all the time like I somewhat get what's going on from the text but Most of the time, just what they're saying doesn't make sense to me. You just stopped? Us? 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 影の力で人の心を操れるの心に作用する力だから現実にいる私たちまで影響されたとかもしかしたら王家と老朽がまたつながったこととも関係があるのかな今私たちのいる現実も同じように影の規則のもとにあるわけだしその可能性はあるかもねそれにしても。少女にあんな経験があったなんて彼女少女のことを<笑>次に会う時もそういう関係だったりしないよね道理で私たちを止めようとしてたんだ<笑>そそれは世間を渡り歩くには相手をあしらったり調子を合わせたりする必要があるだろう<咳>今のはえっとそう
社交辞令だよ調子を合わせるつまりその後に何があったのかを知ってるんだよねそれはあ<笑>もう100年以上経ってるんださすがにそこまで記憶力があるわけじゃないよとにかく今のうちに逃げようもしまた巻き込まれたらあそういえば今のって私たちが初めて触れた術の能力ってことにならないしかもかなりリアルだったそれでも現実よりは安全だしもう少しいても大丈夫なんじゃないかなそそれは<笑>いやいや外を見てみよう琥珀街に外の境界なんてそもそも存在しないよ確かに完全な過去ってわけじゃないみたいだねしかも私たちにはそれを保管して動かすほどの力もないしそうだよだから早く逃げた方がいいって脅かしたいわけじゃないんだうちも確信してないけどセルマ様<笑>セルマの能力は人の心を操るっていうほど単純じゃないかもしれない服と関係があるのかも能力を使うたびに彼女は相手に服を着せてた We don't actually get to the cedar though. That's why I was a bit confused about the cloth cutting. c a t a c h i a s o r e z o r e c h i g a k i d o g e k a t e k i n i k a n a j a w a a i t e k a r a k a g i n o c h i k a r a o t o r i d a s e r y o n i n a t e t a o m o s h i r o i t s u z u k i o m i n a i t o Ah, s o r e n a r a e e i d e a g a r y o d e m o s h o j a k o h o n t o n i s o n a t o n o k o t o n a n i m o m o i d a s e n a i n o ほんのちょっとだけでもいいから。ジャスカルフェムストリート、ウェルウィンエクメンプロスオクレスノーマル。この近くだと思うんだけど。これ。本当にこんなやつに遭遇したら。セルマ様には対策があるのかな。やっぱりうちは。無駄口はやめて早く案内しなさい、okay. これは怪物じゃなくてもすごい猛獣なんじゃ誰か助けてお願いカーリーあなたたちはうちはそのあかりの人間だここで英才があると聞いてあよかったこれで助かった私は友達と一緒に影から出てきた怪物に襲われたんだ逃げられたのは私だけこいつの演技下手ねでも、夢おいびとは一緒じゃないの夢おいびとは、私を守るために、一人で残って、今でもこの先にいるみたい。セルマ様、うちらは。え案内を続けて。これだけじゃ退屈すぎるわ。あ、夢を見た。大丈夫？怪物に足を噛まれた。私が手当てをしよう。あの怪物たちは。私にのしかかった後なぜか逃げたんだこっちに合わなかったのかなよかったね運に恵まれてつまりこれで全部三人だけスズメちゃん
私を甘く見てるのはあなたそれともあなたをここに派遣したやつの方そうだそうだたかが怪物にセルマ様がえ英才から生まれた怪物が勝手に去っては戻るそんな下手な嘘を考えるなんてあなたたちはその災いのことを何も知らないようねでも他に出し物はないの子供の頃に見た茶番よりずっとつまらないわえセルマ様何を言ってるの何そいつらの演技で私を騙せるとで<笑>本気で思ってるのはっきり言うわね小弱あのチンという老婆のところに行った頃からあなたはもう芝居ができなくなってたのよ順調に白家の子息のところまで連れていくふりをして途中で何度も隙を見て私を排除しようとしてたそして最後は私をこんな人気のない場所に案内したセルマ様話を聞いていいえまだその口から話を聞きたくないの私の勘違いの可能性もあるけどどうでもいいわこの手であなたたちの口を引き裂いて真相を聞く方がずっと面白いでしょポッチ What was supposed to be a bad boy said was terrifying. As expected, several of the outsiders allowed themselves to be used as vessels, allowing the incomplete reenactment to continue, and yet they would have to face the ensuing danger. Yeah. でもできることはまだあるかもしれない今までの小弱の経験から考えれば自ら服従することで逃げられる可能性があるあなたたちもそうすればいや彼女よりも上を目指さないと自分からセルマのペットになってはいうん仕方ないそうだヘリアへえちょっと面白いわねじゃああなたたち針で刺されたことはあるかしらどう Moving the ear up and down hold the up button to make the fire so you can see send the down button to make it decent Okay, both g e t for the wicked to protect the wizard. I g e t for the wicked and okay. f o l l o w i n g up the ear into burst mode, where it opens the wicked carries the wicked to match the special weapon skill. And okay. Uso de shaw? Kanojo wa rikan no jutsu mo shihai de kiru no? Ana junshi no jutsu no koto o kangai tara. Zenzen o kashi no koto ja nai. Tashka ni skoshi no chigai wa aru kedo. Kanojo wa goi ja nak te. 自分の意思であの怪物たちを操ってるみたい Don't tell me this is how it's like. I've already seen she will become like the better suit in the next update, but don't tell me that's how like the better suit fights. Because <laughs> it feels weird. Don't think too much. I just don't have the privilege to punish my pet. 
But it does mean I won't punish you. Compared to the performance I'm used to seeing, your methods are quite crude, I must say. Though your talent is average at best, you seem to have an ample experience in deception. From your very first meeting, you pretend to be afraid of that, deceiving me into explaining my true abilities to you. Um, unfortunately for you, I don't make the habit of cash revealing my trump cards. You claimed to have heard rumors of the strange phenomenon on Ember Street and came here to make a profit. That was just a lie, wasn't it? Before meeting you, everyone I counted Ember Street had never heard of any strange phenomenon or the Pi family. But after meeting you, everything changed completely. Considering these points, it's cre quite clear, isn't it? The people who mentioned the phenomenon on Ember Street to me were you and the elders of the Nutrisco family. So, employed by the elders. You and the others are in cahoots. Uh, you conspired together to trick me here and then dispose of me. And we bother us, Sohaku. Uh, uh, she was prepared to lose consciousness. From her experience, losing herself and becoming a lame as a slave seemed to be her only for the event. <laughs> She could hear her own heart being torn apart. <laughs> Clearly, what she was wearing wasn't her soul. Hearing wasn't. Clearly, what she was hearing wasn't her soul being torn apart. Of course, there wasn't much reason to celebrate either. Just the act of wearing her clothes meant an extremely frightening future was in store. うん。無駄口はやめてって言ったでしょ。服を縫うことだけじゃなく、針の他の使い方も試したいの。シャオビンくらい食べさせてよ。うん、わかった。どうぞ縫いください。まさかこんなに早く見抜かれるとは思わなかったよ。うちは一石数鳥しようと考えたんだ。長老から報酬をもらって、セルマ様に会をなすふりをして、それと同時にセルマ様がこの町から逃げるように色々仕掛けようと思った。そうしたら長老たちはうちのせいにできずに運が悪
自由は山頂の薄い空気みたいなものよ弱者が耐えられるわけないって何度も言ったわ今のあなただってそうでしょ私が与えた自由を持ってたのに自分を傷つけることに使った。I've also heard like memories. Sure, I'm going to sort right away as the daughter of the street. Sir, Masa, ma. Don't stay so much. Don't be a kid, I got to kick a night. Take it away. Watch it. Tat the miss. これで終わったのうちはもうあれえうちはうちのまま But still got a new outfit we for 何本当に別の小動物になりたかったの逆家の人間のところに案内してまだこの件は終わってないわそそれはセルマ様本当にお優しい方だその辺にして別にあなたを許したわけじゃないから言ったでしょ人を噛むペットの方がからかいがいがあるってこの町にいる人はあまりにも少ないものなんとかして面白いことを見つけないと他に用意した手段はないのかしら早く全部出して私を喜ばせて愛想をつかされた犬がどうなるかわかるわよねえそれはいやいやおおそうだ階級を決めないといけないわねあなたこれからは取るそうよいざという時にそれが何を意味するのか教えてあげるわ。Uh, okay. はいよ、全部セルマ様の仰せのままに、早速案内するね。As she plotted way to escape, the ever vigilant girl, pretending to be s e r v i l e omitted a rather important description. By times had changed, Emma Street was still packed with people, or so it seemed. Although the lady habitually saw others as a different species, it still sounded very abrupt.、Uh, very abrupt. Of course, it won't take long to figure out what she really meant. Okay. Guess we're getting back to Rimba Street. の当初だもろもろの事務は私たちが代わりに処理するお前はその姿を他人にさらすな部屋に戻れふん<笑>余計なこと。どこから探せばいいのかなそうだねセルマ様試しに以前の連絡場所に行ってみるうんここだよセルマ様いつもは指定された位置に手紙を置いて相手が取りに来るのを待つんだほらあの建物の屋根なんだけど屋根うん任せて木登りみたいに許さないわ私の服を汚したらあなたは今後二度と着る服がないって思いなさい<笑>あなたまさか高いところに登ることで飛べる人より自分が優れてると言いたいのあーディフェクションコンティーダプチェクティブオッケー
Regardless of how street smart she was, at least luck was on his side now. Hey there, Shana. How have you been doing? Uh, I have been doing fine myself. So light. A carefully hidden letter had been found, but it's only conveyed a revealed identity and urged allies to withdraw soon. <laughs> その帰る昔ほど自由じゃないけど何とか生きるための仕事も見つけたしこれからのうちの担当はお茶だしそれとも片叩きずいぶん先のことまで考えてるのねまずはあの白という人を見つけて<笑> あ、本当にあの偽薬屋と最後まで対峙するつもりそんなのセルマ様の身分にふさわしくないんじゃふさわしくないですってあなたの方こそ檻に戻りたいだけでしょドバトロウェルベイクインデケージプレイヤー Was it you being clumsy again that your phone broke, or <laughs> what was it? Kono ken wa anata ga omou hodo tanjun janai. Watakushi ga sagashiteru byakuke no ningen wa jishin no meiyo o omonjinai koto o suru to wa kagiranai kedo. Wow. Slow clapping for you. ねえの白家の子息は彼の仕業という可能性もあるわ教官噂とは大して違わないしわかったセルマ様の言うことなら間違いないはずわかった。The girl frowned. She did not remember ever taking control of uh Shaku's mind. よくわからないけどきっと間違いないと思うんだ。really <笑> わたくしをここにこさせるにはたりないわ。それは。でも。やっぱりあの言葉の意味がよくわからないんだ。探す。必要ないわ。祖父。シャトル。ハンガー。トルソー。わたくしには。まだ靴箱が足りてないのよ。
It's still stupid to pay that much for repairs, even if you don't have any guarantee. Greetings, esteemed guest. Welcome. I'm your personal shopping assistant, May. Oh, such a noble and elegant demeanor. You must come from a prestigious family, right? Allow me to recommend the most suitable rarities. Not bad. I see you have some semblance of taste. I'm currently in need of an observant servant. Come serve me. I am in need help to choose jewelry, not problem. We've just received a batch of rare agate stones in the store recently. But as, lean, uh, as long as like the screen is still usable. No need. Stop fixating on an analysis me. See, a clever servant who enjoys reading between the lines may sometimes all think things. I've said since the beginning that all I want is for you to serve me. But perhaps you don't need to handle it yourself. Oh, what do you mean by that? You need to change your attitude when speaking to me. Was I not being respectful enough? Maybe it's unnecessary to be there on the bush with someone ordinary. As long as it's open to me, it's all that matters. Such a fragile soul. Well, I think I will stop beating around a bush uh, with you anymore. Neil. What's happening now? Fire shadow needles to hurt the target mentally. Completely defeat the target's conscious to clear the stage. Ah. How? How mean is this? Press the skill, Shadow Needles fly 100% faster. Oh. Well, at least it still works. I had like uh, one case where I broke my phone screen, where I like completely broke the bottom how uh, the bottom part of the screen. Where I could literally see the mother buff underneath I was running and like uh, slipping um, under the railing of like um, a staircase just to get through faster. And my po uh, like the po um, the pocket of my pants wasn't like um, I don't didn't have pockets you could like uh, zip uh, zip closed or something like that and. Since I'm like usually wearing like fabric shorts, phones tend to slip out of those pants faster. And yeah, I just was like slipping on the railing of like of the stairs. My phone just slipped out of the pockets because it had like no grip in it, and threw on um, fell onto like um, stone like onto the pavement from like. One meter high. <laughs> and it also, since I was like flinging under the railing with a bit of speed, the phone also like flew with a bit of speed and then like 
slip through the crown for like half a meter or so. <laughs> it just got like completely broke the bottom part, so it's like completely cut out. The photo is still usable, like the screen actually. <laughs> Just like the button part was like completely off and you could see the motherboard underneath. <laughs> I actually like used it for, for half a year still after that. <laughs> The old Amber Nurhaus, not exactly a tasteful name, shame. <laughs> Customer, sorry about you not open yet, so if you don't have any other businesses, please take your leave. I'm busy right now and don't have time to chat with you. How are you doing? I said we're not open yet. Honestly, young people these days are so impatient, so respectful of tradition. Seven customers until they are famished is a tradition on Amber Street. Well, that's a friend. I was pretty cheese, you all brav. The combination of years of effort, it takes a lot of time and effort to make it. You young people really lack patience these days. In the past, even if uh, the wait was longer, the place would still be bustling. I don't think so. If you're talking about a reason for your poor business, it's not obvious. The efficiency is low. Um, but that's how it always has been done. No, that's not right. You've mentioned before that the recipe is the combination of all your hard work. Isn't it because of constantly nitpicking that the process became longer and longer? If the business is declining, you should never dare to abandon your traditional flavor just because you're afraid of failure. You keep saying the traditional taste is not good enough anymore, but you're actually shifting the blame. What you're truly afraid of is that you're not good enough anymore. Looking at you, I'm sure you have had your past glories as well. You're afraid of being replaced, so you shift all the blame to the current times and bury yourself in culinary research. Of course, doing that is no different from slowly killing yourself, but at least you can shift the blame to others. What do you know? Oops, I forgot to mention I'm in fact quite knowledgeable about catering. As my family owns a few properties in this industry, low we had and I will consider letting you in an apprenticeship. The condition of course is me. Are you shooting an old man with needles? Uh, shot me so she increased by three. Okay. to get up there first. Okay. Oh, there's a customer. Manga hurt his back and is recovering, so I'm in charge of the shop today. Are you here to buy a clock or have a watch repair or both? What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? 
Oh, the thing I'm currently working on, that's nothing. Just fixing a small pocket watch. I won't let it delay me from serving a customer, no worries. Uh, where did I put that gear just now? No wonder you can hear all the gossip on the street from this clock shop. So there's an apprentice who cares, chats all day instead of doing work. Uh, what's with that attitude? Oh, specifically here for gossip. Look at the face. You don't seem like someone from the street. Ah, I remember now. Did you pry into my affairs? Oh, it's not like I was specifically prying into you, into it. It's just so that you tend to find out things when you chat with customers, you know? Anyway, paying watches to an amateur might seem like intricate work, but it's not something that requires intense focus. Wait, where's the next screw? Seems like your hands aren't quite keeping up with your mouth. <laughs> Can't help but I'm just clumsy, you know? But the problem is that you are, uh, isn't that you're clumsy. Uh, that's because it's not your shop. I mentioned earlier that Anchor is still recurring. Your shop is owned by your uncle, right? Even if you make mistakes, you wouldn't have to uh, to fire his own nephew. Uh, please don't say such hard things. When my uncle was young, my parents helped him. So, it's a family matter. There's nothing unreasonable about it. So in reality, you never really wanted to master this craft. Your goal must be... Become a master of gossip. To collect all the gossip on MSV so you can become the ultimate gossip manga. <laughs> Nothing amazing, really. Can you use a cup as a meme that? So many turn in every one's master craft. Your goal must be to become a long term apprentice. Your brother is to maintain the identity of an apprentice or a student for the long term. That way you can avoid taking responsibility. What you fear the most is self reliance and taking responsibility. Oh, talking about blunt works. But I don't have much to say to someone like you. After all, in this world, most people can't survive on their own. But relying on others for support while causing trouble for them, that's quite degrading, don't you think? Since we are being frank, why don't you listen to my proposal? If I were to extend an invitation to your uncle and offer you an apprenticeship in an Utrisco family, do you think you would be placed? Utrisco? The family known for strict traditions? Oh no, I definitely can't handle that. Please bear me, I'm not mentally prepared. Then we'll let it go, however, there's a condition. Yeah. to trick a time slow for a while and have two charges. Okay. A little while later. As the artists are in the street crew, the imposter has no way to run. Oh, this little minigames are really quite simple. This is Mr. Bai. Why does he look like a grandpa? What's a big deal at this point? Didn't I rather tell you that his so called Mr. Bai is merely a fraud and connected to the real Bai family? Man or woman, old or young, human or ghost, isn't it possible for him to be anyone? Wait a minute, young lady. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
It's no use playing them. Report from the Empress Society. The people in charge have finished investigating. Starting last month, rumors of the shadow disease suddenly spread throughout Ember Street. Coincidentally, a group of people calling themselves Mr. Bai began selling talisman water. Unfortunately, the talisman water never had any effect, and the shadow's disease patients were just middle-aged and elderly people with common illnesses who, upon hearing the rumors, mistakenly believed they were living on borrowed time. As for Mr. Bai, Although we haven't been able to contact the real person yet, declaring flaws in your actions, your pathetic imitation of a posh accent, and the fact that the Bai family crest you traced is missing two strokes, all expose your true identity as an imposter. Hmm. But even if such a group of people really exists, what does it have to do with me? Testimony from the Commercial Street Alliance. It's only been a few days, so you surely haven't forgotten about your old friends on the shopping street, have you? You are familiar with the residents of Ember Street. You have channels to spread rumors and methods to find victims. You even have professional knowledge of pharmacy. Oh, by the way, didn't the pharmacy on Ember Street close recently? Your old neighbors have recognized your face. The former shopkeeper of Wu Pharmacy. <sighs> Damn it. I was forced to do all this. It's n uh, not my fault that I can't cure the shadow disease. Throughout the generations, who's ever seen such a strange illness? Just because of the wrong prescription, the pharmacy's reputation plummeted and had to be closed down. The reputation of Fu Pharmacy was tarnished, so I had to borrow the reputation of the Bai family. Why? Because no one believed in my old prescriptions and only trusted the young nobleman who was doing research. And I didn't even lie. Tell me, isn't the shadow calamity real? Aren't those patients really getting cursed? Since both of these things are true, what have I done wrong? You couldn't be more wrong. Investigation by the Rosen gang. Not sure what that is. First of all, your dirty and despicable methods that are even worse than the shadows have already been, f been figured out by my servants. There were indeed... There was indeed a shadow calamity on Ember Street, but faking fer paranormal phenomena in alleys and hiring fucks to attack those who suspect you? You can't pin that on the shadows. Secondly, since you're an imposter, you might not know this. Shadows need to be nourished by fear before they can grow. You spread rumors, so discord, and through deceitful means make the people you firmly believe in the existence of shadows. This is clearly nurturing the shadows with your own hands, cultivating the very monsters that destroyed your career. Uh, because of your foolish actions, Ember Street has been affected to such an extent. Well, at this point, there's no need for an imposter like you to know. At the very least, the real Mr. Bai would clean up the mess he left behind. And you, a coward who blames others for everything, a shameless who stirs up trouble without self-awareness, do not deserve to use the name of nobility. I... I you're just afraid of being punished. You may appear to control the shadow, but in reality, the shadow controls you. And soon both of you will be under my control. Noble individuals can tame beasts and turn them into pets, but you may not even be a human. Neil. Just like the others who were dominated, Mr. Bai obeyed Telemus' call and reached out his hand. Then, starting from his fingertips, his body shattered without any warning and dissipated into a puff of black smoke. As I had from Shohaku, the other servants that surrounded Telema collapsed like Mr. Bay and disappeared with the wind. Shohaku's 
何人かの泥棒が悪事をしてるだけ私たちが見た状況も間違ってないでもね二者は矛盾してるって誰がそう言ったかしら私とあなたそして私のペットたちを除いて琥珀街には最初から誰もいないのお芝居を打ってるのはあなただけじゃないってことまさかうちらが見たのは全部その通り一種の英才よそう琥珀街を覆い尽くした英才運が良かったわねスズメちゃん今はまだ幕が上がるところよ The world shattered, then reassembled once more. The Ember Street that belonged to Telema suddenly burst like a bubble, revealing false truths and cruel realities. Selema, Sama, what is this? 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 本当に彼らを下僕にすると思った私はねペットに対しても厳選する人間なのよあの人たち<笑>影で作られた偽物はもちろん影を消さないと本当の姿が見えないじゃないさあ後ろに立ってなさいペットと下僕は拍手してればいいのこれからは主が登場する時間よ、uh... 私たち追い出されたタイミングが悪すぎないそれで最後に見えたのは一体何だったのどうして琥珀街が2つもあったのそれは本当にわからないよ思い出せないわけじゃなくて最初から覚えてないんだあの時何かがあったのかもしれないもしかしたらうちはセルマに気絶させられたのかなでもあの時少弱たちが見た住人たちがみんな影だったとしたら彼女はどうやって相手を支配したの前にコラリーが推測してた通りかな相手と何らかのつながりを作りそれから回収に似た形で他人から罹患の術相の力を集めるっていうでもそれじゃあどうして彼らがセルマの言いなりになったのか説明できないでしょあの服には印以外の意味があるんじゃないかなあの人の腐った趣味から考えると服で他人の階級を決めてるみたいだそれが影の規則と関係があるのかどうかはわからないけど結果的に彼女は確かに話したものに相手がなることを可能にしたもちろん今のもただの推測だけど他人の恐怖を洞察したことで彼女は相手を服従させ支配することができるそれこそが本質だよそれってつまりもういいよだから最初から昔のことは見なくていいって言っただろうどうやら時間を置いてまたやってみるしかないみたいだねうん、でも収穫がないわけじゃないそして今はそろそろ老朽に戻るべきだねそうだ少女君彼女があなたに服を縫った時七の大役残り一羽王の気概も全ては巨岩のためああ Wait, this will be continued. 
The reenactment ends here. Perhaps you can return to MC from 100 years ago and recreate more for Lady Telema's investigation. Most of our challenges now are way here. Competitors of all personal in number three that are suitable for subjugation. I can feel the information of each character here. The basic information in the domination brokers are also recorded here. Okay. Chairman back with her to before Telema discovered the truth. Uh, change Telema Street from her using an experience more in content. I would just do like these chests first. Of course, there actually isn't that many left. Hmm. Can't I fly above that? I saw like one you can subjugate here. Yeah. Which we haven't done yet. Wait, what? <laughs> huh? I made the door disappear, but... Ah, okay. It really was just that. I'm busy. Don't loiter if you don't have any business here. I know I came here specifically for you. Ah, are you here to report a case? You should have said so sooner. Come on, which store was robbed? Or is it true of jury theft? It's not a the case, is it? It's not a murder case, is it? Calm down. I'm not looking for criminals. I'm looking for you. No case? Then go away. Don't cause trouble for me. So you haven't been active because there haven't been any abnormal situations on the street? Of course, since I arrived, the street has been, pe has been a peaceful place. Although it's a bit boring. It shows that I'm doing an effective job. Demand the case records. If that's the case, I know what the case records you've received. I didn't I say it already? Ember Street is very peaceful. There are no case records. Do you want me to help you recall? The rumors about the shadows, the self proclaimed Mr. Bayer, Puffercurry, uh, Puffercurry, and the former hired fuck from the Lantern Organization. The, those are all rumors that have uh, no basis in facts. You kept saying you want a big case, but you turn a blind eye to the rumors about the shadows. That's quite strange, don't you think? I was actually thinking that if you are willing to cooperate, it wouldn't hurt to give you the credit for capturing Mr. Bai. But why do you tremble when these topics are mentioned? Nonsense, our duty is to maintain law and order. I don't care about those supernatural rumors. Is that so? Should um, there really reason be... He is by this coward? 
The worst dream about solving big cases, but you delegate the patrolling work to your subordinates. In other words, you're actually a coward who pulled this to weak and fears the strong. Seems like a nail on the head. You don't even dare to face the vicious criminals, let alone the invisible shadows. The streets are full of those rumors, yet this, the one who is most frightened is the sheriff himself. How amusing. I was speaking of the shadow calamity. There shouldn't be anyone on this street who understands it better than me. If you want to stay alive, you must do as I say. Be near. We get to shoot more people. I'm actually you supposed to use the time slow here because I don't need it. Sharon here is cooldown decreases by 70. Sweet. That I should have done like almost everything here. Oh, there's a new one. We. I know for spectators or fans are not allowed in here, but judging by your appearance, it seems you're neither. Miss Sunflower, the shining star of Ember Street. Your stage name has gained some recognition in Allegri, and one has even heard it in the Nutrisco manner. So you're the lady from the Nutrisco family. My apologies for not welcoming you properly. Unfortunately, I don't have any available private performances within the next three months. That's right, I have a different request for you. A request? You're quite direct, my lady. In other words, I don't have the right to refuse, right? A forged recording is of your previous performances, and they indeed have artistic value. Unfortunately, they aren't enough people who appreciate it. So to promote yourself, you gave it your all to navigate the upper-class social circles. I've been told that you know many secrets that are not known to the public. Is it also just baseless rumors? Don't worry, I don't plan to collect these secrets. They don't suit my taste. I agree with you. The skills to... Being burdened by those secrets is to forge them overnight, just like I've always done. Is it so? Then maybe I can help you regain your memories. I promise of wealth. As long as I decide the field can be renamed to the Sedima Theater tomorrow. Inside the same group of audience will be seated, so what have I to do is no different from now. So so then maybe I can help you regain your memory a promise of freedom. I can free you from those secrets once and for all. Oh. Those uncultured interests could never recognize true artistry. They won't be able to tell the difference between a virtuoso's performance and that of a street busker. Rather than suffering from uh, such a fate, you are far better suited to be my servant. You just need to abandon those users' social skills. You might fear letting them go, but you must know these skills never had any value to begin with. Am I wrong? No one's often say they don't lie. Should I trust you? Mm. And there is one of you, right? Then kneel. Okay. Used to make an S shadow nigga break the sword shield. That's consume storage. Okay. There's another new one now. Alright. Let's just use the shortcut by jumping through the roofs. Why 
Welcome to Ambus 3, Lady of the Nutrisco family. You're the first one to recognize me voluntarily. Interesting. When you own 70% of the properties on the street, a lot of information and truth flows into you. Yes, I'm sure you're familiar with that feeling. It seems you've been asking around about me. What can I do for you? Oh, it's nothing big. I merely wish for you to become my servant. That's all. I see, I understand your intentions now. I'm more than happy to serve you. People on the street say you're a greedy upstart. I didn't expect you to be so straight forward. I haven't finished yet, so it comes with a condition. I want you to gamble with me. You must have heard I've always been a famous gambler, from inheriting free estates from my uncle to being penniless. It took me seven rounds of card games, and then in two months I acquired half a famous weed through horse racing. <laughs> to gain something, you must first enter the game. That's my motto. Today I only have one coin in my hand. Shall we use it for a gamble? If you guess correctly, I will pay you unconditionally. But every time you guess wrong, you have to introduce me to a business. What do you think? Alright, let me give it a try. But let's make it clear beforehand. I'm only doing this because I find it interesting, not because you deserve it. But sorry, let's, let's go with Tails. There was not enough through the coin high in the air, catching it with his right hand. He displayed his palm to Telema, reeling the minting ear on the observer side of the card. It seems lucky is on my side today. I've won another deal. It seems it's going to point first. Do you intend to continue? Before there was even knew, Telema had already bound his hands with sick threads. Huh? Both sides of the coins in the left hands are tails, and both sides of the coins in your right hand are heads. This little brothers uh, must often come in handy for your business, right? This, this was just a small trick. <laughs> Alright, Miss Telema, I admit I was wrong. Let's forget about the previous bet. I'm willing to compensate you. You've already cheated once, and now you still want to define the rules of the game? From now on, I'm the one in charge. You and, I, you and I both know that because of the rumors about, about a shadow, you can no longer sell your properties. Your source of funding has been cut off, so you have to resort to petty tricks to make money. Let's make one final bet then. Guess which hand I placed your coin in. If you guess correctly, I will let you go. If you guess wrong, I will possibly acquire your pro properties. They are not worth much now, but they still serve as a reminder of your dishonest practices. That way, you will never have another chance to gamble. Which is what you fear the most. So what will it be? Do you want to gamble or do you want to submit to me right away? I... I surrender. Kneel. Do we get to shoot him too? Or what is it? Uh, one hundred fifty percent of damage. Okay. I still have like to get three more. Come on. Feels a bit unnecessary, but okay. Return is bank credit after uh, available after the version for the seven point four update. Okay. I would like to skip through the dialogues because they're like not really saying anything interesting, and this is just taking quite long.
Every time an enemy is out shot, it will be shot in three directions at the same time, and only one shot will be dark. Okay. Come on. Only two more uh, to go. What game will this one have? Uh, okay. Uh, shouldn't we store? Uh, okay, not sure that they even need that much storage, but hey. The last one is on top of the bridge. Unless it's unnecessarily making me go around, but okay. Spawn in the walls. Tosa. Uh, user should use this without consuming the storage. Room. Okay. That we got that. I'm guessing also it's not only to do the spirit taming stuff. Let's just see what this is about. Spirit taming. It's just like an optional. Spirit timing done. I missed time that.
Okay. She's done. She's done. Okay, at least I can just use them from the menu. Just stupid to just plain up hit him. This one is done. Could just go quick and easy now. Mm Why do I only have like one now? Is it packed or what? Oh no, I'm just like also missing other skills which uh, I didn't have for them. So I think like I'm only getting like uh, these skills for those. Oh, not that I really mind. It doesn't really making it any auto. Yeah, okay, well. In fact, it's just going easier but slower. <laughs> Unnecessary. The last one actually. I feel I should have everything out of this event. What is it? A character quest, you could say. Which is called in game. Come on. I'm just so suitable to aim right now. that I should have everything. Sweet. Yeah, I can't get these onto the next version. Yeah, okay. Uh... Then I would say we're actually done with this.
I guess I gotta like do like some of these missions just to get like this one extra chest for the this event, but hey. Other than that, I'm done with that. Also, I've been in a launch trailer and stuff also already like released on YouTube. I've already seen that. So for now, I'll see what's ahead for like the next version update. You can check that out on like the Young Campback Third YouTube channel. Um, but since we are through with that particular event, I would also say I'm actually ending the stream here then, just because that was my stroke goal for the stre uh, stream anyway. And yeah. And I don't even need to like stream it much because I've actually already streamed six and a half hours earlier on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually already like now getting close to like nine hours in total for the day. <laughs> yes, I did. I did play um, the Rising Tide DLC for Final Fantasy 16 because that released today. I'm just not... Yeah, that, that's YouTube, sadly. Uh, YouTube notification for, like, um, your videos and streams are broken. Even the bell is not helping. It's like subscribing and the bell a little bit useless at this point, really. But yeah, <laughs> with that being said, let's actually look for someone to read. Um, there's a few candidates still that are online. I don't see one in particular which we haven't rated in a while, which I feel like if there's one. Um, she's playing Star Raya currently. So, I'm gonna load you off onto her channel. <laughs> um, and yeah, we will be able like, to catch the individual episodes uh, starting tomorrow because I will be uploading four videos for a bit on my German channel. <laughs> Just because of like the Final Fantasy 16 DLC. But hey, I will also do another stream of Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow. Um, probably around the same time just to finish the DLC off because um, at least the story part I've already finished so there's just a bit more optional extra common stuff but um, that being said I hope you enjoyed it Um, we're also gonna hop back into Star Race soon just to finish up a lot of events there which I've saved up for not playing yet Um, and yeah be nice to over the end of the raid, and I hope I will be seeing you all next time. Until then, bye bye.